Welcome friends. In this video I want to show you how an app called Desmos can be used to learn uh, about the different transformation that the parameter of a graph does. So let us start with the equation of a line. So we know the equation of a line is y is equal to mx plus c or mx plus b. So if you google the word Desmos you can open this graphing calculator. So just type in on the formula bar, you type in y equal to mx uh, plus c from your keyboard. That will work. And then it says add slider. So click on all. It will tell you. So this is m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. So if you look at the graph, this point is the y-intercept 0 1 is a y-intercept and that has a gradient of 1 okay so that has a gradient of 1 okay so let me remove this point okay so if you click on this point so let me show you this point this is 4.95 so you can also drag points like this so these are the coordinates okay now let me show you how you can see what happens when the parameter changes. So let me click on this play replay uh, button. If you press on that, the gradient will change. Okay, so let me use the slider. So if you change this, can you see the graph is tilting and it's becoming steeper and steeper. As this number becomes bigger, the gradient increases, the steepness of the graph increases. Okay, so it keeps increasing. Okay, and if you go backwards, the gradient is decreasing. Okay, so when it is it is 0 0.9, the gradient is decreasing. So when this is 0 gradient, okay, so let me put a 0 gradient here. 0 gradient means, yeah, it can go like this. Okay, and if you press on the slider key, it will show you how the gradient affects the steepness of the graph okay so let me stop this what happens for when you change c c is the y-intercept here so and the, this has a negative gradient of minus 3.7 from that means from left to right it is going down so if you move this what's happening the gradient the y-intercept is moving okay the y-intercept keeps moving with the same gradient Okay, so the letter M changes the gradient and the letter C changes the y-intercept. So if you let me press the replay key so that you can see what's happening here. Okay, so here we go. So with the same gradient, the y-intercept is changing. Okay, so let's look at now a parabola. The equation of a parabola is Y. Let me show you the formula keyboard. So this is a formula key. You can also use this. So you can type in also from this formula keyboard. So this is y equal. You can press this equal uh, a bracket x. You can use this x or you can also use your keyboard minus. So let me use this board, minus b. Uh, so let me use B from my keyboard. You can also use B from here. So B and uh, let me remove this. Okay, so let me go back to this. Okay, so this is X minus B. And then you can also use this and uh, squared and then plus plus mm, ABC which is C. Where is C? Okay, so let me use my can't find C on this. Okay, and then enter and add this as a slider. So this is a parabola. Okay, so let me make a. Okay, I don't want M and C, so let me remove M and C. Okay, so uh, I wanted C. So add C. Yeah, okay. A, B, and C yeah so a affects the so what does a do a affects the shape of the graph b 
changes whether it is going to the right or left so let me make a uh, let me put c as 0 let me put c as 0 and see what happens okay and a is also say 0 okay so this is the basic parabola this is the basic parabola y is equal to x squared okay so there's no effect of b and c so this is a basic parabola so when x is 1 y is 1 this point it's almost when x is 1 y is 1 okay so let me add a point here you can also add a point so when x is 1 y is 1 so this is that point okay when x is okay so let me go when x is 2 y is 4 okay so this is this point okay so if you want to add one more point here when x is say minus 1 y is 1 okay and when x is when x is let me remove this when x is 2 minus 2 y is 4 so this is the basic parabola okay so now what happens is so if you can you can remove these points if you want to okay and now what happens let's start with b b is a parameter which changes the uh, parabola to the right or left okay so let me move slightly what happens is see so the same basic parabola is moving to the right when b is positive so when b is positive it moves to the right okay and when b is negative it moves to the left so b translates the basic parabola or any parabola to the right or left what happens when c moves c changes c change when it is positive it's going up and when it is when it's negative it goes down okay so let me bring c <coughs> let me make c as 0 and a b as also 0 so now you can get the basic parabola now what happens when a changes when a changes the shape of the graph changes so if you make it positive it becomes steeper or thinner and thinner okay so it becomes thinner and skinnier and skinnier and the most in interesting thing is between 0 and so let me go up to 1 between 0 and 1 it becomes f uh, flatter and flatter can you see it it's move it moves bit when it's 0 it is it becomes a line and so let me see so can you see and when it becomes negative it flips over it flips over so let me drag it up so that you can see so so now so can you see it moving so and now let me use the slider you can see it becomes skinnier it is becoming flatter and then it goes upside down Hopefully this video is helpful. You can play with this. You can download this apps free from Google Chrome. And this apps is called Desmos Graphing Calculator.